They may have swept to victory in the elections, but protesters are back on the street in Hong Kong once again. Hundreds had marched towards the police checkpoint that leads to the Polytechnic University, where a small group of protesters remain under siege by the security services. This was a noisy demonstration, but not a particularly large one. They shouted insults at the officers, but this area is effectively locked down. That they were out at all surprised many people here after their momentous achievement at the polls. Well, there were already divisions between those who want peaceful protest and those who actually believe in more direct action, which usually leads to violence. Those divisions, I'm sure, are going to grow because after the election results, some believe they should have no more street protests, but an awful lot believe they should maintain their presence on the streets, even if it leads to confrontation. Some of the victorious brand new councillors gathered in a park close to the university complex. A delegation was allowed to enter the university. Most seemed a little stunned by the fact that so many from their ranks had actually won. Their unofficial leaders are jubilant. There's no reason for Beijing ignore the more than two million people vote in the election, especially most of the sin already won by our camp. While the direction of the opposition movement is being debated, most people I spoke to say they need to keep pushing. We are keep going on the district. So this is like the beginning. Yeah, it's the beginning. Not the end already. It's the beginning. Yeah. For most of the Hong Kongers, we uh, will go on for our protests and then uh, fight for freedom or um, fight more uh, to um, to tell the government um, they have to do something to us. Through the night, they celebrated as seat after seat fell to the pro-democracy parties. But even as the counts took place, it was clear the huge voter turnout had supported the protest movement. While the movement has been reinvigorated by such strong support after six long months of protest and violence, nothing has actually changed. The Hong Kong government is still in charge, and Beijing has warned that violence must stop. The fact is, Neither side is listening to the other. Stuart Ramsey, Sky News, Hong Kong.